Hello, everyone. My name is Dion Morales, your host of the Gold Squadron Podcast, and we're coming to you live from the top four of the Galactic Championship. Super excited to be here. It is, it is going to be a great day here for X-Wing. Um, we are in the last four people in our Galactic Championship. Uh, we've had six qualifiers. We got Charlie. Uh, I was corrected on the pronunciation. Somebody remind me the pronunciation of his last name. We got Charlie uh, out of South Africa versus Nicholas Tobin uh, from the USA, specifically the Chicagoland it's, area. Uh, it's Clute. Clute. Yeah, Clute, like C L U E T E H or C L O O T A. So Cluta. 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 All right. I believe you. And Nicholas Tobin out of the Chicagoland area, one of my locals, great guy, really good X Wing player. I'm excited to see what happens here. Um, I'm joined Weird. by my great friend, Ryan Moisture Farmer. Interesting. In the Galactic Qualifier, the biggest event Gold Squadron's ever had, we have two people from Chicago in, in the Gold Squadron group in the top four. Can I get a hashtag rigged in the in the chat? <laughs> hey, listen, it's not rigged. My, hashtag rigged squadron. Listen, uh, we got some good. We got some good people. We got some good people. Just saying. Just saying. Rigged. Okay. The, the jig right. is up, Dion. <laughs> Listen, listen. I, I surround myself with 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 greatness. It's just what I do. That's what you do. That's what you do. And uh, the game has started. So Charlie on the left is um, running Captain Faroff with Ruthless Admiral Sloan hull upgrade. Uh, and then it's you know it's we've seen this squad a whole bunch. It's uh, he, the five Sinars with him, all with dorsal turret. Um, and, and, and Sloan is what makes this squad tick, right? You you kill one of those Sinars, you take a double stress, ever, all the ships are getting rerolls while against your stress ships. Um, Nicholas, on the other hand, is running an identical squad to Marcel, which we already talked about. It's ZZ, Tali, and Sefton, all with Starboard Slash, Heroic, Proton Rockets, Advanced Optics, and Mur <laughs> Coven with Intimidation and Advanced Optics. Uh, and so three I-5s with Prockets can hit like a Mack truck. Uh, Optics also makes their two die shots very consistent. Starboard Slash, you can get it off, giving strain tokens, putting those out there, reducing agility. And if Merle ends up bumping in the bullseye, that person's down two agility. And if uh, a strain's on them, you could have an ace, Dion, as zero agility. Yes, you can. Unlikely, but possible. It can happen. It can happen. Now going yeah. into this uh, this game, I w the couple a couple of things about these players. We have seen Charlie play on stream before. Um, <clears throat> the the squad will catch you by surprise if you don't know what your uh, um, what what you're playing against. Obviously, the Sloan trigger uh, can happen really easily. We've seen Charlie use Ruthless. Um, to get this two and three hits he likes to bring those aggressors into range one and um it is pretty cool to see at this top level tournament um you know aggressors in the top cut you know i think we've talked about it before it's definitely a uh it's a sloan list not an aggressor list because the, without sloan i don't think they would stand up as much as they do but um you know, it's a it's a great archetype. Now, Nicholas Tobin, uh, I've played against him quite a few times. He is a calculated player. Um, one of I, I would honestly say one of the smartest players I've ever played against. Just like if, if you're measuring just like big brainness, Nicholas Tobin, big brain, 100 percent and a cool guy. So um, he's very calculated. He um, very, very careful. KG, he's going to look for his spot. He's going to look for his opportunity. And then when he sees it, he's going to pounce. But I will tell you, um, these I expect these four A-wings to be played very different than what we saw Marcel play. I love you, Marcel. I know you're on the other table, and I wish you well in that other game. But Nicholas Tobin is not the aggressive type unless it is in his favor. If it's not in his favor, if there's even a a 49% uh, chance that it's not in his favor, he's going to be like, no, nah, I'll wait. I'll just wait. He's, he's super patient. Yeah, and I think that's the the crucial the, the, the crucial point here, right? 
is you need patience here against this fair off swarm but you can't be too patient you only got 70 minutes you gotta start chunking them down what the advantage here is that these dorsal turrets are only two die guns right and mm -hmm. two die guns do have some difficulty against three agility um but if you get enough of them that's where you can start chipping away so nick is gonna have to do an excellent job arc dodging but if there's a squad that can handle this um uh, mr cluda squad um i think nicholas is is well uh well set up he has the tools to do it so i'm, I'm very excited to see what happens honestly and a wings you know they're my favorite ship uh the you know rz2s are super cool uh, I like seeing uh, these in the top cut. Did Dion go away? No, I'm here. Him? I'm here. Sorry, I was Dion, reading. come back. I'm always here. I'm never. I'm never not here. <laughs> Sorry, I was was reading a reading a message and I, I missed the tail end. Bad transition from Dion. Uh, I see some people asking about bets. We'll go ahead and open. They were open uh, already. I'll open it up for for uh, a little bit longer. So if you want to get a bet in, here's your opportunity. But um, uh, I'm sorry, Ryan. What was the last thing you said? I, I missed it again. I was reading. I'm so sorry. I was just saying that Nicholas has the tools. You know, this Sloan squad can be really, really tough. Oh, uh, yes. There's, you yes. know, but he's got the tools to take it down. Every, you know, with the the proton rockets and especially moving his I fives last and getting with the three agility, the ability to, you know, ZZ is also probably the best equipped to be taking shots. Mm hmm. Yeah, I mean, and one of the interesting things about this upcoming approach here is you can see that Nicholas has set up uh, some decision making for Charlie. Does he sweep around to what is visually our left side and try to catch those two A wings on the left side? On the left, we have Tally and uh, and Sefton, or crash down around Zizi and Merle. I. I don't know which what's the correct choice, but I think what Nicholas is trying to do is get a feel. I expect some shorter maneuvers this turn to, yeah. to kind of see where uh, Charlie is going to commit. But we're going to get some short, safe maneuvers, and we'll adjust from there. And whichever way Charlie goes, is you're going to see Nicholas likely end up going in that opposite direction, utilizing right. the tail gun as much as possible. Yeah, it's uh, this is definitely unironically a game of positioning. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> like, no, no joke. He, it's all going to come down to when Nicholas can get those good proton torp shots, and what he's going to want to do is set up locks, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, in situations where he's not going to take a lot of return shots or none, if possible, right? And then come in later and really get um deal a lot of damage onto these aggressors yep yeah, mean these these guys with two agility um you, you we've seen charlie get pretty aggressive and not necessarily quote unquote care if he's got actions or not he's willing to do right. tactical bumps to slow the whole thing down uh we've also seen him put the aggressors in front of the reaper in front of Faroff, who by the way can be extremely tanky let's take a second to talk about Faroff. Faroff's ability which by the way i'll go ahead and pull it up on the patreon cam give me a second to kind of get it set up for you guys Here we go. So Captain Faroff says, while you defend, if the attacker does not have any green tokens, you may choose one of your blank or focus results uh, to change it to an evade result. So if th there are situations where uh, he's shoot, he can shoot somebody or taking shots from somebody who doesn't have those green tokens, it can really stack up those number of evades uh, because you know you're likely using your actions to either coordinate one of your aggressors, uh, but it looks like Charlie's taking that turn. We'll find out later if Captain Faroff's ability does trigger, but uh, it is something that can make Captain Faroff last for a really long time. Absolutely. No question. All right, so we're going, we're busting through that debris there. No damage. And he, you know, Charlie wants to corner these A-wings, right? He wants mm -hmm. to get them in a position where they're trapped and they can't, 
can't get away. Um, they're going to be taking multiple rounds of turret shots all in a row, or better yet, get into a spot where he can block one. If Nicholas has to be very aware of one of these A's getting blocked, because if they do, these dorsals are just going to chew through them. 100%. Yeah, the, those those dorsal turrets can make some bad stuff happen. No doubt about that. Because even though they're just two die shots, if you have enough of them, you're just chewing away. You get rid of the tokens, and eventually well, the, the natties run the other, out. The the big advantage that Mr. Cluda has as well is that these A wings stress themselves a lot, right? Yep. And so the, while Nicholas has a bit of an advantage by moving last. And he's got those proton rocket big hits. He's got a big issue deciding whether he wants to stress these A wings to do his stuff. Because by doing so, he's allowing Charlie the rerolls to um, really uh, increase the firepower. So that's going to be another thing that Nicholas is going to really have to grapple with. Okay, we got a sloop here from Faroff. That's a way to slow slow her down just a little bit so that she can come behind yeah. the aggressor swarm. And ZZ went four straight, taking the boost. Sefton, three bank. All right, kind of an aggressive move here. Going to be banking out or barrel rolling out. We might see Tally barrel roll to the inside. I've seen him do a move like this before. If he thinks he can get range on only one of them, that's why we didn't see the reposition right away. And goes to the outside. And it's important to note, uh, like noted on the stream, uh, you cannot rotate those A-wing turrets without taking the stress. So uh, right. th there's a good chance that, that we're going to get in a situation where we're getting a Sloan trigger. All right, here we go. First shot of the game. One hit going from Tally into that blue aggressor right see pretty good chance that that aggressor evades range three got the focus notice that tally yep. did not take a stress yep and here's a shot back range three Let's see what happens All right, it's going to spend the focus for two. Pretty good opening shot. Tally looking for some natties. And going to be taking a shield in the opening. Wow, not you don't want to see that if you're Nicholas. <laughs> we got some shots out the back going in the fair off. Now, what I'm going to expect is I'm going to see, I w we're likely going to see ZZ turn in real aggressive and start going after fair off sure. here to take take her off the board two hits after optics yeah if zz can turn in and start bullying fair off that's uh that's what you want to see you got to get if you can get fair off off the board before these aggressors that'd be great it is tough though fair off's pretty defensive but that's a start Yep, first right there. So because ZZ, uh, excuse me, Merrill did have to use the focus in order to mod those dice, that essentially swapped, uh, you know, one damage for uh, for an evade there. Yep. So one exactly. one damage overall. Natties are the best weapon against Faroff. Yeah, no doubt about it. Or if you can set up a target lock focus and you have that choice between do I target lock or to spend the target lock with the focus, you might be you might be inclined to do the focus. Uh, excuse me, the target lock and just hold on to the focus. Mm -hmm. Thank you to Vagabond getting us to 456 subs. Remember, if we get to 500, Rathos has offered uh, visual defacement of yet another squad builder uh, for some funsies. And uh, if we get to 500, and I believe we have Rath Rathos on the line here. You want us to say hi real quick? Hey. 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 How's, how's it going, Steven? Good. Just watching these A-wings go. Pew, pew, pews. Uh, who'd you choose for your champion? Who's your champion? Oh, I want A-wings to win. Okay. There you go. Rathos himself has dubbed the A-wings. Um, 
So, so uh, when we're, when we're defacing uh, Yasby for funsies here, uh, what's that? What's that gonna look? What, how can that look like? Give me, g inspire me. Well, I mean, pretty much anything that modern HTML can handle, I am willing to entertain. Um, like I said, just no profanity, no politics. I guess I have to add no nudity as well. Basically, <laughs> um, we want to be able to still be able to use the website in some capacity. And in, some, in some capacity. Nice. Like you got another event coming up and... You know, some people are able to play in person, probably somewhere. This is so. true. This is true. Oh, by the way, since while I have you here, I gotta say thank you for um, giving me the tools to set up mm -hmm. uh, Wild Space, the community mm -hmm. hyperspace uh, version that we're going to be making for the um, Flight Club Championships starting in January. Mm-hmm. I'm I'm very interested to see what you ban. I mean, me. It's not just me. It's the people. Yeah, it's you. <laughs> I mean, it's me. It's also your arch, ne arch nemesis, D. Yoon, and Ryan Farmer at the same time. That's true. So really, just you, just you and Ryan. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a good burn. Big fan. Nice. Nice. <laughs> All right, we're gonna go ahead and uh, and jump back into the game. See Charlie starting to get set. Fair off is the question right now. With that big rock in the center. That was placed. No, Nick Tobin did take that initiative. Um, I'm expecting to see that rock used as a pivot point um, because Faroff has to make a decision here. Yeah. If, if she ends up just kind of banking behind the aggressors, you're leaving open the flank for ZZ to come in. And I do expect ZZ to, to go, go in right now. There's no... You could end up landing all those aggressors on a rock, I guess, if you want to, but I, I, don't, I don't think that's going to happen. And here we go. Those aggressors have moved forward. Merrill also took a turn. You see that those uh, arcs are pointed to the right side right now. Another trip over the debris takes a stress. Getting in there real aggressive. Yellow's going to lose his stress. Now, looking at the path here, if these A-Wings took turns to the right, they're going to be able to set up some really nice back arc shots. You might be getting shot by one of these uh, aggressors, but not the entire swarm. No doubt. It's going to be, oof. I'm, I'm very, very curious to see where um, Nicholas won here. Yeah, because Char Charlie is playing for the front arc and the right side. I like the play here. He has covered a big chunk of the board. Those A-wings, I mean, they, they basically, that right turn is the only out that they have to avoid taking as many shots as they could. Here's the bank from Faroff. Loses the stress. We might see the squiggle here. We might see the evade action. Also has the coordinate available. That coordinate's pretty clutch, too, because it means that you can roll these things and move them a little bit to set up additional blocks, right? Oh, yeah. All right. Waiting for an action. Yeah, just seeing where he get what he does, right? Okay, looks like I'm going to do a coordinate action. But what is the action? Maybe a lock on red? Yeah, you can set up the lock. I mean, that's, that's pretty solid. These things can take evades too, right? They can. He's giving him the lock. 
Yeah, seems like a good call. And there is ZZ coming in. That might be a proton rocket, fam. Could be. I don't know if it's range two, though. Ooh, okay. Well, Tally's getting into it. And so, you oh, know what? Boy. The, the, this is the way. Nicholas has chosen violence and says, you know what? Yeah. We are going to pop off some proton torpedo, uh, so proton rockets right now. Wow. And uh, if we can clear some ships, it, it it might work out. Yeah, maybe. Oof. Uh, bold. Bold. But, you know, sometimes fortune favors that. This is very true. I'm very curious. This is some very, very, very curious to see how this round plays. All right. So we're going tally first into yellow. Proton rocket charge used. Five dice going in. Pretty good. All right. Well, not having to spend the focus. Absolutely huge there. Could optics yeah. for another one? I, I mean, I would. I would. He's not going to. Three hits and a crit. Tally is more valuable than Sefton, which is probably the reason why. Oh, he blanks mm -hmm. out. He's got a focus. Spends it. Hit, hit, crit going through there into yellow. Yeah. Shield, hit, crit. Uh, direct hit. It's the direct hit. Should have spent it. Well, oh, actually, I if, mean, if, I know. It's, if, it's impossible to know. I'm just yeah. kidding. <laughs> and the crit would have been different. I understand. All right, going with ta with uh, ZZ first before going with uh, with Sefton. Sefton's still up. Here we go. Uh, did he get that too? That range two on Faroff? Yeah. Yeah, he, he should. Did. Nice. Oh, no. Or maybe not. No, no, it's or range three. Range three. Oh, in shame. Hit crit, though. Didn't have to spend the focus. Takes an evade. Oh, man. The natties. You you said it, Dion. Uh, what, what did he roll for green dice? I don't know. I can't see it. Oh, here we go. They hadn't rolled it yet. I was confused why oh, they were flipping it. stuff. Two blanks. No conversion. No, 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 no. No evade. That is a structural damage. Oh! Oh! Faroff's ability, my friends, has been turned off at range one to two. Uh-oh. All right. Now, is he going to be spreading around? He's got... So he's got bullseye on green, but it's not profitable because the bullseye is not within range two. So he's just going to go at yellow and try to finish it off. Yeah. And he's going with the rocket here. He is not leaving it to chance. He wants yeah, that he wants best that opportunity. Dead. likely will is going to hold on to that i mean he has a focus he could make it three he only has to do one damage and that no oh he's going for it oh my goodness yeah he wants it he wants that ship dead yeah i mean it would have died without the the focus expenditure but he wanted to avoid the natties yeah so clear so the ship that double stress Takes the two stress from the Sloan, and that means that those aggressors are going to have rerolls against Sefton. Uh, but at this point, Nicholas has gotten 28 points. 
total. He's one one away from half on Faroff. Is it one? Yeah. And ZZ's in really good position to dunk on Faroff with a torp. I mean, with a rocket next turn. All righty, here we go. Has range three on Tally, so not going to be able to all completely focus fire on uh, onto Sefton. Tally does have a focus. Hit crit, no modifiers past that. Tally four dice. All right. Got two. That'll be enough to block one of those, right? We got half points on tally. Shield down. Shield down on tally. Half points. That's 24 score there by Charlie. Next one. Range one shot. Oof. Three hits. Tally takes one. Okay. The fact that she's absorbing... Uh, Three, three of these shots is actually a pretty big deal. That probably means that one of these A-wings is going to live through this. Yeah. And Tally still, still has a focus. focus going to be using her ability here to add the fourth dice. She still has a focus, like you said. Oh. Hate to see it. You hate to see it. Ugh. Takes that second damage card, tally off the board. But, I mean, she uh, fortunately was able to get that procket off. So, I mean, so you hate to see a trade of one aggressor for one of your A-wings, but you're hoping Sefton can stay alive here a little bit. Now, real quick, want to go back here. Three more into Sefton. Needs some paint. Gets it. Gets one evade. So Sefton will live at one. And your guy Merrill still has a shot too. Uh, we need to remove one shield off of uh, orange slash brown. Uh, because it, w it received the ruthless damage from a uh, fair off shot. All right, I believe, is this uh, going into that red aggressor from Merrill? No damage. And I think those are all, those are all the shots. So 72 to 28. Once those half points from Faroff come in, that's going to be 72. It'll be plus 30 to 58. Nicholas will still be behind. Now, here's the question, Ryan. How many A-wings do you need left alive once you get rid of Captain Faroff? Three. Three? All right. So you're or, saying well, two and a half, you know, right? Like, you can't lose Sefton. You got to kill, you got to kill Faroff and keep have all three of these guys still alive so sefton has one one hole left we might see a starboard slash moment here coming up mind you uh one thing to keep in mind is that uh sefton after taking that double stress and this is the reason why um nicholas popped all the protons uh rockets is the fast fact that sefton without bumping somebody and being able to shoot in the front will likely not get to shoot again unless they can shoot at fair off which i think i'm probably gonna just guess a two straight for sefton say hey i'll be blocked this is fine but i get a chance to possibly do damage on the fair off this turn because without the ailerons fair off can't get close enough to stop the shot uh, right. with a block there All right.
right, we'll go ahead and just double check all the stuff. What Nick has as an advantage that that structural on Fairoff is huge. Like that's really going to limit how much time he has left in this world. Oh yeah. Yeah, Sefton did use their prockets. Somebody asking, did he? Yes. Now, if we end up in an end game where it's ZZ and Merrill versus four aggressors, that I think that becomes a really interesting exchange because obviously the number of guns would be on Charlie's side, but you would lose the uh, you lose the the Sloan rerolls. And right. all of a sudden, the A-Wings don't care about being stressed anymore. Now, remember, uh, a quick note for anybody. We'll go ahead and switch to the Patreon cam. We'll give you guys another, another camera angle here. Fairoff is currently stressed. And because of that stress, that means that there, there are no ailerons. Ailerons are not available here. So not able to, what I was talking about earlier, Fair, uh, Fairoff could not do something like ailerons forward and try to bank in to avoid the shot mm -hmm. by taking on that tactical bump. Um, but here we go. We have Merrill moving in here uh, with a three straight, anticipating some shots from, uh, or some forward movement for some of these aggressors. Maybe just taking a focus. We'll find out here. Going back to the cable, table cam table cable cam that's fun to say and we got some k turns yeah absolutely just trying to keep time on target here they're okay being stressed all right and here here you have that brown Turning in. Going to be blocking Sefton. Creating a little bit of space. Avoiding the range one. Oh, might still be range one. Oh, we got a three bank. So Fairoff. Good move. It's a good move for Fairoff there. He's trying to avoid uh, the range one from ZZ. No doubt. Or if, or if ZZ has cut in, you know. All right. We got a starboard slash on uh, on brown if he wants it it is a may uh cz is gonna have that range two in the corner and oh just misses the corner Oh wow! Gonna have to gonna have to take that other shot. That's big for Fairoff. Yep, and not getting anything there. Absolutely huge. Yeah. Got the one. Zz gets the focus back. Yeah, this this turn is leaning quickly, leaning quickly towards uh, towards Charlie. Here's a it's range, gonna, range two at Merle. It's gonna hurt into Merle. Got that ruthless up that he can use on Brown still. Hit crit. Are we gonna see the ruthless trigger? Probably. Yep. Takes a damage on the red. This red shield. Yep. Ruthless. Oh, Merle taking hit, hit, crit there. Gotta spend the focus. Shields are down on Merle. That's half points. Sure is. Got a couple more shots coming in Merle's way. Will it survive all the way to initiative one, or will it be initiative killed? Looks like we're going with the green aggressor first. Things are not looking good for Nicholas right now. No, no, no. And Snake Eyes there does get the reroll from Sloan. Heroic. Ha ha ha, the rare green heroic. 
Just looking for one squiggle. Got it. Not today. All right, here comes the shot into Merle. Merle does not have heroic, so he definitely doesn't want to blink out. Oh, the Ooh, double crit. Double crits. Looking for some natties here. Not going to get it. Not Takes a get crit. It. Let's see what this crit is. It's a stun pilot. Stun pilot, for those of you who don't remember, after you execute a maneuver, if you move through or overlap an obstacle, take a damage. Not going to be a huge issue. Eyeball crit going into Sefton from long range. Sloan reroll. Didn't get any conversion. Looking for one. Got it. Does get it. And all of Charlie's shots are done. Merrill did survive, so we'll have an opportunity to shoot here. Absolutely. Take that shot in the red, probably. Oh, did did Red not the uh, shoot? We may have jumped the gun here. That one, uh, here we go. Yeah, so Red Aggressor into the green. Got the squiggle. Oh, it gets it. <laughs> that Red Aggressor was just out of the front arc into Merle. I'm kind of surprised. I think Charlie may have missed the fact that his arc is pointed to the right side. He could have shot Merle at range one. Could have, yeah, 100%. A little bit of a misplay. I think he wanted to kill Stefton, though. Yeah, I mean, that's an, it's initiative five. The, the, that advantage there is huge. The Merle looked at his options, has red at range one. Best chance to do... a good roll here. Got two. Yeah, it's a start. One damage going through. So Sinar red going down to three hull. We're back to dials. I think it's absolutely huge that three bank we talked about earlier for yeah. uh, for Faroff getting getting her far enough forward where ZZ just barely did not have arc. I mean that probably saves you two to three damage. That's big. No, absolutely, Dion. And so now, good news is Sefton will get another turn in this world. Uh, he's not in a good, great position with that debris field right there and, and stressed and everything. Um, you wonder, you actually want to wonder if he just does a five forward and takes the one in eight chance mm -hmm. um, and, you know, gets rid of one stress, keeps another, um, and just tries to create some distance. Hmm. But ZZ is about to walk into the teeth of this swarm. So ZZ might want to consider peeling off as well and just doing a focus rotate potentially. It's all very rough. Rough stuff. Oh, rough, rough stuff. I like your uh, like your rhyming. <laughs> Spit it, DJ. So looking at uh, looking at the board state right now, 92-28 favoring Charlie. Nicholas has two, two A-wings hanging on for dear life. The whole plates are shaken. And the, the challenge here is Charlie brought a squad that makes it so that you really don't want to use the full potential of, of what these A-wings can do. Yeah, absolutely. Looking at the position, Charlie has some options here. And I, again, we've, we've seen him play before. He's really good at tactical bumps. So you got a couple of options here. You know that ZZ likely will be willing to turn into the fight. But Charlie has got a lot of possibilities here to do something like purposely self-bumping, um, fair off in order to avoid the too hard and make ZZ bump. That's a possibility so that ZZ doesn't get any mods, at least not on offense. Uh, Merle is is running scared right now. Obviously, he's going to need to uh, get out of town and start using that back gun. Going to try, 
But I mean, Merle's gotta not get killed by Faroff first, you know? Couple people asking about the other table. The other table has Marcel Manzano playing the exact same list as Nicholas Tobin versus Fond Longenlon, two time Galactic Championship qualifier winner with five Hive, uh, hive Guard Nantex, that's Initiative Three, uh, with Crackshot and a Techno Union Bomber. I know some people had asked if this game ends early, would we be switching? I would say that if we if we have, uh, you know, I would say if we have 30 minutes or more left on the clock, which I don't think it's going to happen, I'd be willing to switch over. But when we start getting into those uh, those tight times, I'm not a fan of moving the camera over to the table uh, because players weren't playing with it the entire time. It can really change the mindset. So we're going to we're just going to go ahead and leave that alone. And uh, you guys get to be surprised for the final. But don't worry, I'll keep you guys entertained. You'll do your best. Yeah, that's right. Merrill right. hoping to create a bit of a traffic jam here. Bump Mer a bunch of ships. Merrill will likely not starboard slash because there's no reason to take a strain when you have one yeah. hole. Takes a focus. Debating a rotate, I think might be, or maybe even a boost. What are you thinking, Merle? What are you thinking? Thinking that he's got to call home to Freddy pretty soon. That's right. Freddy, focus. Freddy, focus. All right. We got two bumps there. Merle's avoiding two shots. Very nice. That also means that those aggressors don't have mods uh, outside of the Sloan reroll against stressed ships. The blue aggressor moving up here, trying to catch an A-wing. Has the side arc on Merle. Now remember, Merle also does have the intimidation. Not sure if it's going to be a factor here, but it is there. Fair off getting out of here saying, nope, 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 yep, no, thank that's you. That's okay, though. Actually means Merle's going to survive this turn if he can survive one shot from green. Uh, also blue. Blue, the blue aggressor oh, blue also has, has, has well, arc pointing yeah. forward but, or to the side. Yeah, we'll see. There's that, what was that, five straight, like I had said? Let's see if rolls a crit. Hope not. Nope. Safe. Does not. Oh, there was a, a bit of a TTS error. I'm going to go fix here. This is just that arc is pointed forward. So, yeah, you just focus here was easy, right? Uh, Let's see. Sorry. I had to. I was fixing that. ZZ. Yeah. You, you, yeah, fo you focus, focus up. And then if you can, launch a torp in, uh, into orange. Well, the, the pockets are gone. Pockets are gone, oh, I believe. Oh, they're gone? What did he spend them on? Oh, no, never mind. They're there. My bad. Why did I think three of them got launched? I don't know. Wait, didn't... No, didn't ZZ fire them into Faroff? No, he was out, remember? Oh, you're the right. You're, you are 100% correct. All right, going to Brown. Pop them. Pop, pop. Let's go. There's a focus. You got to use them. He holds off the range one into green as well, because Brown's not shooting at him or anything. But I think you, if you, you shoot, you shoot them while you have them, right? Right. You could also go into red. Red only has three hull. Oh, that's a good point. Might be more and valuable that, points. That, yeah, red's the better option there for sure. All right, yeah, and that's one last shot. He's going off on ZZ as well. He's opting. He's opting to go into brown. Oh no! Nope. Okay. Switches targets to red. Switches targets Got to it. red. It realizes the damage Heart change. Choice. The chat is calling red sus. Kill red, and then you've got two shots coming at you, and you're getting a token back. Yeah, we'll if like... he can kill red, you know, no, no, not a sure thing by any means. But and that Looking takes away a, big... a shot coming back as well. Yeah. And uh, intimidation there for uh, for Merle triggering. Ooh, oh, I, that's big. That's money, yeah. baby. That's money. That's gonna be five. That's gonna be four hits and a crit going into red. Oh I wait, think with that's no dead. with no agility too because of Merle's ability. Yes. Double yep. in, double intimidation. Intimidation yeah. and plus her ability. 
Doesn't have to spend the focus. Now he can get an evade. Got it. That is a tokened up ZZ. We'll go ahead and I'll pull up that ability here. Uh, Huge swing there. Pull up that card. I don't want to. Meryl, the intimidating master. <laughs> so anyway, I'll, I'll, I'll go ahead and just read, read the ability. Um, so you guys can keep your view while a friendly ship at range zero to two performs a primary attack um, If you are in the defenders bullseye the defender rolls one fewer defense die All right, so we got blue Shooting into oh Merrill. wait a second. Wait, 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 wait. It wasn't a primary wait Oh, yeah, it wasn't a primary they got to go back Merle is primary only so it's okay you can roll that back you just need them to roll two roll, dice or he can decide roll, to spend the focus roll one die it's, it's one die Isn't oh yeah it? one die because the intimidation so he should decide whether he wants to spend the focus before he rolls that one die Cause now it's just hit crit, right? Like, couldn't he? Couldn't ZZ have opted to spend the focus to get all this is true. five? Uh, hold on. Hold on. I gotta go. I gotta go to the table. Hold on. Yeah, go to the table. Go to the table. that back on yes Yay. yes um no right you're right because there will be one two three dice coming in All right, cool. We're back. Here's the resolution. Red is dead. The focus is spent. ZZ is going to do a focus instead of an evade, and Charlie's starting his attacks all over again just because it changes yep. his order of operations. Here we go. Yeah, seems fair. Here we go. Three hits going into ZZ. Going to be spending the focus. Takes a shield. Now, orange doesn't have an attack. Oh, yeah, we got to get... Nick, can you put a blue turret on, uh, on Merle facing forward, please? There we go. Hit, hit, crit. Oof. Rough. That's a, that's a side arc going into Merle, I believe. Range now one. Does Merle have natties in him? He does. Has a focus, though. Got the paint. And Merle does have a shot here into the green aggressor. Two dice, one hit. That aggressor doesn't have any mods. Looking for True natties. Doesn't. Man, Merle's staying alive. Like, just not, all of these three A-wings staying alive another round. 
pretty big chipping of damage through there as well. Yep. The shield shield down on the green aggressor. So we're looking at three aggressors and fair off left, right? Um, and two of them are down their shields. So still uphill for Nick, but he's fighting. Okay, so ZZ. ZZ lost one shield. Lost a shield, double stress because of the kill. Didn't come in stress because he just turned and focused. Yep, exactly. So that's why. So he's in a an okay position to potentially get out of this. Um, he just needs to pick the right maneuver. Exactly. And the thing about ZZ's ability is that as long as ZZ has a shot, the ability... He, uh, ZZ will be able to get a token after. Yeah, it. exactly. So you want to consider maybe with him trying to get a shot on fair off if possible. Mm -hmm. um, you don't want to get blocked by orange, but if you can, I mean, even if you get blocked, it's fine, right? That's minus one shot. Yeah. Yeah. Like who cares? Like I, I'm looking at a three bank left. Fair off is stressed. Can't turn around. So three bank left was easy would be where I'm looking. Then Sefton can work his way back around. Yeah, Sefton is definitely going to have to be a part of the fight. But I think what Nicholas is likely waiting for and what Charlie has to watch out for is um, if these A-wings, if Merle and ZZ stay alive another turn, you're going to you're gonna see Sefton start to creep in and start taking range three chip shots and start yeah. picking away at the aggressors. So uh, Charlie has either got to lock down one of these A-wings right away and then be yep. prepared for Sefton to come back into the fight. Absolutely. Tight match right now. Tighter than the scoreboard would uh, appear as long as these A-Wings stay alive. Yep, we will, we'll go ahead and, uh, yes, on the overlay, we got a minus one shield. Uh, we'll also flip to the Patreon can because I see some people asking about the stress. You can see right there, double stress on ZZ right now means no actions, but able to still use the ability if she can get a shot or after right. being shot the first time. We'll go ahead and head back into the table. All right, uh, Nicholas Sperry, please, minus, there it is, one shield, we got it. Some people are asking, can you explain the Patreon cam? I mean, it's just, it's just my, it, the Patreon cam is my mobile view. It is what Dion is seeing at the moment. I can move it around and it not affect my other camera, essentially, is what it is. It's a multi-PC setup in order to make it work. It's just a camera brought to you by our patrons. They, the fam. It's true. They did that. They did that for you. They literally put seeds in the ground and grew a camera out of dirt. <laughs> nice. Where do you think Meryl goes? Meryl. Meryl, Meryl, where, where are you going? So not currently stressed, right? No. No, he's not. I think Merle's job is to try to take some heat off of ZZ. You, you got to try to maybe put Merle in a spot where you're going to get maybe a block. Ooh, what if, what if you take Merle and purposely bump ZZ and you do a maneuver where ZZ doesn't move and That's all those aggressors end up in front of ZZ? certainly interesting that that could be because could I be feel, cheeky i like it, it it would be it'd be risky though it'd be risky because yeah. if charlie sees that and hedges for it with the with his yeah. uh his turret arcs that's uh that's something different and i yeah i, I understand the uh 
uh, the, remember, intimidation doesn't work on your own friendly ship. It says specifically enemy right. ship on the card, so sure does. bumping uh, bumping doesn't do anything. Got it, got it. And fair off right now is the is the next decision point. Yep. This is a crucial turn, but there were a lot of time ticking away here on these dials, you know. A lot of time. All righty. So we Focus, got... rotate on Merrill. Like it. I like it. Setting up that back There's shot. Maybe the ZZ block, like you were saying, Dion. Oh, man. Did I, did I, did I, did I read the brain? Did you Nostradamo it? <laughs> oh, well, he could be calling it right here. So the, um, if you see green bumped into uh bumped into blue there yep orange taking the k turn ah see it was easy dude so right here uh, charlie hedges for both actually he's uh yeah. fair off trying to get out So right now, that is a that's a kill box for ZZ. Taking the three bank, loses one of the stress, but is gonna get a shot. Oh, what what just happened? I don't understand. I don't know. What did we miss? I'm not sure. ZZ will get a token though. Uh fair off. Oh, fair off has an action. Did a one bank to the left. Takes an evade. Yeah. Uh, evade does nothing for him. Certainly doesn't. Because uh, with a structural damage, uh, yeah. the evade in first edition, it would add an evade result. In, for, in second edition, it changes a die. So it does absolutely nothing. So who do you fire at? Do you fire at Orange? Do you fire at Faroff? No, you go at Faroff. You're trying to get those half points. Yeah, that's true. He's got no agility. That's structural. And Merle's got a range three shot as well. Yep. It's range one. And he'll get a focus. Uh, ZZ will get a focus after this. Yep. Only one. One damage. Oh, could take the evade for Merle's shot. You're right. You're right. You're right. Yeah, that evade definitely helps for Merrill's shot. Now, green going to go first. This is smart, smart shot order here for yep. Charlie, making sure to take the take the shot with the one that only has a single opportunity. Yep. It's going into ZZ. Now, keep in mind, only the reroll here it doesn't Ooh, even need it. Ooh, hit crit. Wow, doesn't even need it. ZZ needs some good paint. Got enough. Force to spend the focus. Yeah. I mean, that's what that's what ZZ is survival for. For now, anyway. And like you said, yeah, the Sloan rerolls are still on. Yep. Sefton's got to get back in the fight next turn. I think a three turn to the left is in order. All right, range two, two dice with a reroll. Uh, why is it three? I don't know. Oh, he's going into Merle. Looks. Oh, oh is he he's going into one? Merle. Range okay. one. Got it. He's going into Merle. Okay. Wants to finish that guy off. And Merle will go. Pop he's pop. A dead wing. Next shot. 
And that is a smart play there. This is going into ZZ. By going yeah. into Merle from the uh, the blue aggressor, saves a shot on the fair off. Does mean that if ZZ can roll even just okay here, gonna get out of this round without any damage. And ZZ's your ace at this point. And you also got Sefton. Don't forget, yeah. Sefton's an I-5 that's just been kind of hanging off in the corner. Yeah. Now, here's the question. You know, Nicholas had to run, had to disengage because of, uh, you know, getting getting pounded on the opening engagement here. Ooh. Oh! You need the heroic. Oh! oh! Did we just lose ZZ? No, no, no. I think he only Sh takes one damage. Shield and a card. Oh, yeah. that's half points, though. It is. Now he's got two A-wings at one. Oh, six dice and no squiggles. Hate to see it. That's rough. Rough Char stuff. Charlie is on the precipice of the finals. Precipice of the finals of the Galactic Championship. Absolutely. Are aggressors going to win the Galactic Championship? Oh my. I can aggressors. I, I don't know, man. Oh uh, how's, how's that other game doing? <laughs> yeah, this is the top four. We haven't gotten to the, to, to the final yet, but it is. Yeah. It is amazing to see this ship, uh, you know, in, in the top. Small adjustments have made it viable. Uh, this ship is crazy, that's for sure. <laughs> Netter Mizuno pointing out, by the way, Charlie almost got DQ'd from the cut for being late. Nice little story oh, wow. there. Yep. <laughs> Getting every ounce of sleep to get all, uh, all everything you can for the advantage. I, I literally, I, I, I'm not even joking. He was 45 seconds away from being DQ'd. Like it was, it was like, all right, we had we had the other player lined up, like the 33rd player in Swiss. We had it ready to go. Was about to process it, and, and then Charlie like, oh hi everybody. I'm like, oh. Um, oh, 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 oh. Really, really quick, uh, Dion. Yeah. Question on ruthless because did the aggressor use ruthless there? Uh, I'm not sure what uh, what where he got that aggressor because he rolled hit eyeball eyeball first. I'm, I'm curious where he got that uh, the um, the change the, the the change there. So that second hit or third hit or whatever. I'm, I'm not. Did he have a focus? That was the. Did he have a focus? Did I wasn't sure if Brown had a focus. Whoever was shooting at ZZ. I don't know. Was the... it a slow and reroll? I'm just curious about what happened. All right. Nick, pause the timer. Just double check here. Rolled one die. Because he can't, the aggressor can't use focus because I think it's just fair off, right? That can hold, use hold it. Hold on, hold on. Red player. This was brown. Or orange, orange. I think it, it is. Right. One hit to an eye. The red player rolled one dice and got one eye. And then red player rolled. It looks like it got rolled twice. All right, let me just go double check with him. Yeah, I think they're looking at that right now. I was just curious about that. All right, let me go. Out. Let me just go talk to them. We're gonna mute the stream. Yep. 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 Just double. We're just gonna go double check.
What do we, what oh, do we got there, Dion? And go. Verdict, my guy, Dion. What the we verdict. Got? It was a, it was a misplay on fair off. Uh, misplay on the uh, sorry, not on fair off on the ruthless ability. So right. he he did the reroll first, and then and then then it was like, oh, I can use ruthless. It was like, well, no, that's only when uh, fair off is attacks. firing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, ZZ's at no at half still, but has two hull, which mm -hmm. is significant. Yeah, yeah, especially with uh, with ZZ being able to get as many tokens yeah. as she does. No doubt. Okay. So we are waiting for Blue to go ahead and do an action. So one damage still got through on ZZ there, who was one shield down, so... All right, you're going to reach for a target lock on the blue aggressor. Faroff wants to get back in this fight. He's got the health. All right, Sefton taking a focus. He could actually boost in here if he wanted to because the... Uh, Sloan is out of range of the blue aggressor. Yep. But uh, gonna gonna be holding back to have some dial possibilities. Also, just avoiding the range one shot. Yeah, and for once, he yeah he can be. It's funny he can be stressed because I think some of these might be out of range for mm -hmm. the Sloan ability. Yeah, Aziz is just going to get two in there on fair off. And with the structural damage, nothing you could do about that. We've gotten half yep. points. Yep. Fair off is left with how many? Four? Uh, two. Yeah, four. Two hole. Two hole. Oh, two. Wow. You sure? Yeah. Six. My goodness. Uh, well, no, sorry. It has a hole upgrade. So that would be three. Next shop here, Sefton, leaving it at one, holding on to the focus for defense. Yeah, smart. Smart. And That's it. Got it. No damage onto the blue. Charlie being able to hold on to those shields. ZZ really needs got needs it here. Gotta stay alive. Here it's comes Fairhoff's Fair Fair revenge right here, baby. Yeah. Oh, speaking of revenge, three hits. Going to be Gets taking two, one. Though. That that one hull making a difference. Matters. Yeah, making a big difference. Next shot. Here comes Brown going sideways into ZZ. No Gets stress on ZZ, but has a focus. Got the two evades. Oh, he gets it. ZZ stays alive for another turn. And ZZ's going to be able to three bank this next turn and get behind Faroff. But unfortunately, only eight minutes left in this game. That's right. Time is of the essence. It is ticking down. Scores within uh, how many point margin is that? 40, 60, 50, 50 points ish. That's very fast math. Just looking up. I don't want to miss the action here. We got the. Uh, yeah, he had the lock. Yep. Gets it. Gets Take. the evade that he needed. 
So we're looking at, depending how fast the players go, maybe two more rounds of combat here. Mm -hmm. So uh, news from the other table, uh, D. Yoon giving us a report uh, with, the, with the notes, Fawn is in command. Yeah, that's a tough list for the, the A's to come out on top on. And Fawn's a you know, great player, so. You know, I'm going to say something a little wild and crazy here, Dion. I think that ZZ should three sloop here. That is a good, I guess, a three sloop so you get behind Faroff and then in, fair off and in the direction to need, go catch the other aggressors. And you need probably two rounds to get him down because he's got three health left. Uh, Faroff can serve up some jam here, though. To get rid of that to True. whatever offensive token. Yeah, and that's again, that's another reason why you you just sloop there. It's okay. Like ZZ's in a reasonably safe spot. I don't think you should be doing the three bank. Um you could too hard and, and rotate out the back. That might leave you going in the correct direction as well. You could, but you gotta remember there are probably only two more rounds left. So what sets you up best for these next two rounds? Yep. Right. Nicholas is too set. hard, might because you could three bank next and maybe clip an aggressor. All right. Looks like they're set. Here we go. Because you've got two of them that are. Oh man, you guys still gotta do a lot of damage to get these guys at half because they're fivers. Mm-hmm. One straight to victory here. Imperials keeping keeping the options open, aiming that arc at Sefton. Yep. Brown, one forward again, just keeping keeping a real oh blue yeah. aggressive maneuver here. Just trying to get out of town. No damage. I mean, th there's a very low chance of doing damage there. Just trying to avoid some range one shots. Give me the three sloop. Give it to me. So Faroff went one straight. Waiting for an action. Takes a jam. I mean, that's, that is the 100% the correct move. Got the two turn. Clears the jam with the focus. Must take a stress to rotate. And I mean, this is, is effective as well, right? It allows you to maybe, like, in, you got a chance if you roll natty threes to to hit, um, to kill Faroff. And Sefton turned to the to the left here with the three hard, maybe mm -hmm. anticipating some of these shenanigans. Could yeah. boost uh, for a shot. I don't know if he will, though. It's going to hold it. Taking the range one on Faroff. Got two hits. He does. Faroff at da one. Down to one. That hole upgrade making a difference on Faroff. And the jam. Oh, yeah. That was a fast round. I mean, I doubt they get in the, the two more in, but yeah, they're, they they're, definitely they're got moving one left. quick. But that's that's yeah, all the shots. Quick. Oh, is that range two? Oh no, that dorsal tour is just barely in range two. You take that mm. shot. Does get the obstruction. One, one. crit. Sefton's got to get one one squiggle. Got it. I see him. I see him. It is official. Fawn has won and is headed to the finals. This guy, Fawn, just an absolute legend. And I like him going into both of these matchups. Yeah, because he would be facing against the four A-wings that he just beat. Yeah, he just beat. Right. 
or this. I feel did he did he play against an aggressor squad? I feel like he did in one of our streams. I feel like I saw it. I mean, Fawn would deserve it if he won. Like he's been the most dominant player so far mm -hmm. in this. So. A first time caller asks a really interesting question here. Common factor in all top four lists. Turrets. Turrets OP question mark? Hmm. Turns out when you don't have to work hard to get things in arc, the game's pretty easy. Hmm. <laughs> easy. Sorry, that was a little of an overstatement. Obviously, like these aren't perfect turrets. Right. You have to give something to get something. Blendin101 says, Charlie was top four of Swiss at Dathomir and came eighth with Nantex. Oh, no, Charlie's great. No doubt about it. No, yeah, sorry, I was just reading reading the chat. I was just trying to figure out where uh, where, where he ended up before. All right, so right now we're making that box. Faroff moving away. Yep. Not being able to take out Faroff last turn. Absolutely massive for Charlie. The fact that yeah. he keeps it around because ZZ is going to have to do a, like a two straight and, and take a range three shot. What's taking so long? What just... He was not... Was he stressed? He wasn't stressed. He did a jam action. Jam is white. Yeah, he, well, I don't think he was stressed. Okay. Okie dokie. So is this Septon? Was that? The maneuver was red. Yes. This turn. So shield off of blue. Yeah, he's not gonna be able to get enough points to pull back ahead. Charlie is probably gonna move on to the finals here. All right, and this was got the natties he needed. That's probably going to do it. Hit crit in here. Or sorry, hit crit. I got focus evade on ZZ. Threw a rock. Two hits coming in. Got the natties. Yeah, I mean, even, even with one more turn, he would need to completely kill a, yeah, uh, an aggressor and get the rest of fair off. You only got two shots. Not going to happen. Yep. So congratulations to Charlie.